Uh, Should we look at a little bit of Hamlet and see the? Yes. See if we can find the example of that. Why not? All right. Okay. Perhaps first we'll do it in English. Yeah. Uh, as the author wrote it, and then we'll see how the translator or adapter okay. adapted it. Just a minute. Where am I? Uh, okay. How does my good lord Hamlet? Well. God of mercy. Do you know me, my lord? Excellent well. You are a fishmonger. Uh, not I, my lord. Well, I, sir, well, then I would you were so honest a man. Honest, my lord? I, sir, to be honest, as this world goes, is to be one man picked out of ten thousand. That's very true, my lord. For if the sun breed maggots in a dead dog, by being a good kissing character, you have a daughter? I have, my lord. Let her not walk in the sun. Conception is a blessing, but as your daughter may conceive, friend, even look to it. Uh, how say you by that? Um, still harping on my daughter, yet he knew me not at first. He said I was a fishmonger. He is far gone. And truly, in my youth, I suffered much extremity for love, very near this. Um, I'll speak to him again. What do you read, my lord? Words, words, words. What is the matter, my lord? Between who? I mean, uh, the matter that you read, my lord. Slanders, sir. For the satirical rogue, he says here that old men have grey beards and their faces are wrinkled, and their eyes purging thick amber and plum tree gum, and that they have a plentiful lack of wit, together with the most weak hams. All of which, sir, though I most powerfully and potently believe, yet I hold it not honesty to have it thus set down. For you yourself, sir, should be as old as I am, if, like a crab, you could go backward. Though this is madness, uh... Yet there is method in it. Will you walk out of the air, my lord? Into my grave? Uh, indeed, that's out of the air. Should we try that in French? Yeah. Okay, let's try that in French. <laughs> okay. I apologize in advance for my French. <laughs> Comment va, mon cher seigneur Hamlet? Bien, Dieu vous en tient compte. Me remettez-vous, monseigneur? Tout à fait bien. Vous êtes un marchand de Moreau? Euh, pas moi, monseigneur. Puissez-vous donc être tout aussi honnête? Honnête, monseigneur? Oui, monsieur. De nos jours, être honnête, c'est être unique entre dix mille. Tout à fait vrai, monseigneur. Le Dieu Soleil lui-même. Lorsqu'il caresse un chien crève, il fait naître des vers. Vous avez une fille? En effet, monseigneur. Qu'elle ne s'expose pas au soleil. Béni soit l'être de naître. Mais, qui sait à quoi votre fille peut donner naissance? Prenez-y garde, mon ami. Que voulez-vous dire par là? Il revient toujours à ma fille. Pourtant, il ne m'a pas reconnu d'abord. Il m'a pris pour un marchand de morue. Il est complètement parti. Il est vrai que dans ma jeunesse, l'amour m'a poussé à des extravagances à peu près semblables. Revenons à lui. Que lit, monseigneur Des mots. Des mots. Des mots. De quoi y discute-t-on, monseigneur Discussion entre qui Je veux dire, de quoi parle-t-on dans votre livre de calomnie, monsieur. Vous, monsieur, attendrez vos mon âge. Si, comme le crabe, vous pouvez faire marche arrière. Pour être fou, il y a de la logique dans ces propos. Vous devriez sortir du courant d'air, monseigneur. Pour entrer dans ma tombe <rire> Il n'y aura pas de courant d'air là, c'est sûr. Ok. So my first question, when you deliver the address to the audience, did it feel different for you when you did it in English? 
as, a, as opposed to when you did it in French? No. No. So the language sat in your mouth equally? Well, well I'm, I'm referring to the intention. I'm not referring the to the yeah. language. But the experience of expressing it in French, was it the same as expressing it in English? That's difficult to answer. Very difficult. Again, it's not the same sonority. Uh, but the intention is the same, obviously. Uh, take, take my line. Uh, you are a f uh, in English, uh, you are a fishmonger. He says, not I, not I, you are a fishmonger. In French, uh, it's uh, tout, a bien, tout, tout a fait bien, vous êtes un marchand de moraux. De morue. Uh, yeah. De morue. Vous êtes un marchand de morue. Yeah. You are a fishmonger. Uh, it feels um, uh, no, uh, more, more muscular. I have fish guts on me. You are a fishmonger. Yeah. Vous êtes, uh, not criticizing your translation, but it's in the nature of the language. Vous êtes un, un marchand de morue. Yeah. It has a, a flair. Uh, has a, a a song to it that's different. Yes, yes, definitely. It, it's because I couldn't give exactly the meaning of a fishmonger. But that's what I'm saying. I'm not to criticize. I'm not criticizing how you translated it. It seems in French that perhaps that quality is unexpressible in French. Fishmonger. It's not your monger. Yeah, An the sonority monger. and the meaning as well. And the meaning as yeah, well, of yeah, course, yeah. and the way that Hamlet is spinning it. But in the language itself, the French does one thing and the English does another. By their very natures, it seems yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I fishing in strange waters or you know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. But why I choose the Morue, I don't know. It's good. I like yeah. it because it sings. Uh, I only had to do French once. Uh, we were shooting a, a series about newcomers to Canada, and they asked us in the close-ups to do it in French too. Yeah. Uh, and my French is not so good, and so we had a coach. And I found it more immediately dramatic to say the French. It kind of was telling me how to say it. Whereas in English, oh, oh, you could go this way, you could go that way, but the French seemed to be saying, go this way. Yeah, yeah. Now that I'm thinking it again, maybe I should have translated it with it a macro. Yeah. That would have been better. Because, I no, I like this. Yeah, but because you are trying to get your daughter married to me, you are using your influence on your daughter, and you are using your influence on uh, uh, on me also being Hamlet, uh, of choosing your daughter as a wife. So, vous êtes un macro, vous êtes un entremetteur, in fact. M maybe that would be better. <laughs>